who are responding to reports of a man who had shot his mother and his sister. Now, sometime later, officers got a second 911 call about a man who had blood on him knocking on doors early in the morning. Police arrived with a canine unit. They tracked that man to a wooded area here on Briggs Street, where I'm at right now, just around the corner from Cypress, that original location. That's where the shootout began. An officer was hit in the bulletproof vest and in the leg. The canine officer was also shot. Both of them are expected to survive, but once again, our sources tell us that the suspect was shot and killed here. And as you can see back here, where I'm at at the scene, this is actually the wooded area along Briggs Street, where you can see there are still a number of officers at this time. Of course, we are learning more as the morning goes on. We'll keep you updated as to any of those details throughout the day here on WFAA. Back to you guys. Okay, thanks, Megan, for the updates. We do want to continue our team coverage with senior crime and justice reporter Rebecca Lopez. Hey, Rebecca, good morning. Thanks for talking with us. What do you know about the officer who was shot? Well, good morning, Kara. Yes, the officer is about a 20-year veteran of the Dallas Police Department. He has served in various divisions, included the mount, including the Mounted Patrol Unit. And then most recently, in the last couple of years, he's been with the K-9 Unit. Now, he's been with the same dog since he joined that unit, again, a couple of years ago. I'm told that he is very good at his job. He was able to track the suspect. Uh, with his canine officer as well, uh, to that wooded area where then uh, fire, uh, the suspect opened fire on uh, on him and his dog. Now, the officer was shot, as we've reported, in the bulletproof vest and in his leg, and I'm told that he will need surgery but is expected to make a full recovery. But again, a tenured officer, at least 20 years on the force. We've also mentioned that canine officer that was shot, Rebecca. We use that term officer because when you hear uh, members of the force talk about these animals, they really are part of the team. Can you just address how close that bond is usually between those canine officers and their handlers? It's a very special bond. They live together. They train together. They are like family. They are very, very close. And again, this uh, officer and his dog had been working together at least uh, two years. Now, I will tell you that the dog was shot also through the shoulder. The bullet, I am told, went through the canine officer, and uh, is ex he is expected to live. The dog is expected to live. Uh, he's at the vet right now. And when they both are expected to come back, but the uh, canine officer does have to go through recertification after they are shot. They have to be recertified to make sure that they're okay to come back. But I'm told that they are both expected to come back on duty. Thank okay, you, that's a great information this morning, Rebecca Lopez. Thank you for waking up early with us, and I know that you'll have more on this story throughout the rest of the day and on our website at WFAA.com.